Meanwhile, a Spanish migrant rights group says over 950 migrants have died so far this year trying to reach Spain by sea. Walking Borders published the report on Thursday after compiling data from official sources, refugee communities and rescue organizations on the ground. The group says 19 boats and everyone on board have gone missing between January and June. The migrants on those boats come from a total of 14 countries, including the DR Congo, Sudan and Syria. The group blames the Spanish government for failing to conduct rescue operations on time. Well, let's cross over now to Stefano Torelli. He's a researcher at uh, the European Union Asylum Agency. He's joining us uh, to share his insights uh, from Brussels. Uh, Stefano, thank you for joining us on the program. Do you think illegal migration can be stopped? And what is the humane or the best way of doing this? Um, well, uh, uh, migration, you know, is a phenomenon that can hardly uh, be stopped as it, uh, it, it is in the nature of people to move from one country to, uh, to another for, for different reasons, uh, better living conditions, fleeing persecution or conflicts or the effects of climate change and so on. And uh, it should also be made clear that the migrants who try to, to, to reach Europe, to arrive in Europe, are not illegal per se, but become so uh, as a result of the restricted laws uh, that restrict the freedom of movement and the entry within their own borders. So in other words, if these people had the possibility to enter legally by obtaining a regular visa, they would probably choose this option and would not rely on traffickers and smugglers I would not take very dangerous journeys through the desert first and the Mediterranean later. So having said this, I do not believe there can be, let's say, a human way to, 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 to stop this, this phenomenon other than to provide legal channels uh, of entry in the European countries, including through agreements with the countries of origin and the countries of, 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 of transit. Sorry. So let's so, and, and I. Yeah. So sorry. let's look at those agreements for the moment, because the European Union is hoping to strike deals with uh, North African countries in order to deal with this migration problem uh, in the Mediterranean Sea. How are financial packages given to countries like Tunisia going to help with the migration problem? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Well, uh, uh, I think this is quite controversial. The aid proposed for countries such as Tunisia, but also uh, in the past we have seen similar uh, agreements with Niger or Libya, uh, does not go so much in the direction uh, of a resolution of the issue, but rather falls within a strategy of outsourcing the containment of, of migration. In other words, the, the agreements that we would like to make with these countries aim to delegate the control of borders uh, and of migratory flows to these countries, so effectively moving the very borders of Europe further south. And this is a strategy that can lead to some, actually to some results in the short term, mm -hmm. uh, in the sense of limiting arrivals on Europe coast, but it does not solve the problem, as the consequences for migrants are very serious. In some cases, they remain trapped in the center of detention in countries of transit, as happens in Libya, living in degrading, degrading condition and suffering very types of violence and the treatment, while in other cases, as already happened in Algeria, Morocco and Tunisia, they are expelled and sent back to, to the Sahara. And moreover, we must not forget that uh, uh, in some cases we are talking about authoritarian countries, as is the case of Tunisia under current presidency of uh, Kais Sayed of uh, al-Sisi in Egypt. Therefore, reaching this type of agreement uh, uh, does nothing but strengthen the, inter the internal position of these autocrats and indirectly helps to curb attempts to democratize, uh, democratize this, uh, uh, this context. So let's look at those uh, ways of limiting arrivals. What else can all countries involved do to help minimize and limit arrivals or stop the crisis? Uh, uh, what European countries could do in this situation is to try to create legal ways of entry and internally to activate within the European Union solidarity mechanisms that alleviate the pressure on border countries and redistribute migrants within the borders of, of the European Union. In the reform of migration and asylum policies uh, uh, proposed by the Commission, there is explicit reference to, to, to resort to more massively to the so-called complementary pathways, also linking the entry of people to the possibility of education and work. But we also have to consider that in all of this, it must be said that uh, in many countries, public opinions has become 
more and more hostile and contrary to, to, to liberal policies in this sense. And this is demonstrated by the advance of extreme right-wing movements and parties in almost all countries, from Italy to Spain, from Greece to Denmark to France. So whoever governs uh, or aims to rule in these countries cannot fail to take this widespread sentiment into account. And this certainly does not go in the direction of adopting more open and less restrictive policies.